Welcome to Voodoo Some Fundamentals. In this video, we are going to talk about how to set up your CRM stages. CRM stages, they are uh, related with your sales process and then define your pipeline. In order to do this, in Udo is a bit different than in other uh, softwares because Udo is totally integrated. And so you have several apps, you can install more or less, you have uh, uh, counting, sales, CRM, manufacturing, inventory, uh, there's lots of them, right? But when you click on the CRM, you will get something like this. And so this is your pipeline. This is really how it should be. Uh, you should see it like in a funnel. So you need to have more in the first stage and in order to have what you have targeted for the last one, which is uh, the sales, right? Uh, in order to do that, uh, first you have to rename your stages, the existing ones, and then add new stages if you wish. But they should reflect how your process, your sales process really is and how close he is from being finalized. So depending on your business, you can configure different sales teams and you can uh, define different stages depending on the sales team that you're at now, right? So this is how the stages are configured here. So you see, you can assign different sales teams for, or you have additional sales uh, stages for different sales teams. Sales teams could be, uh, for example, could be uh, sales US, sales Europe, or could be different sales teams per type of product. I have some customer that sells hardware, but he sells it differently depending on what market he's selling to. Uh, there is a type of market where he needs to reach out to pre-sales. Uh, so he needs to sell first to architects and engineers and then second stage to contractors, uh, to clients and then to contractors themselves. So he needs uh, to follow up on several stages from a, a long process. And so he has a specific sales team for that type of sales. It's not a type of product, but it's a type of business and he has just done that. You can also have a different one just for a specific type of product. So going back to the pipeline, so this is your, what you see here, of course, it should be changed according to what your business does, uh, but it's fundamentally different than any other system like Pipedrive or Salesforce, because Udo is tightly integrated with other applications. Of course, you can create the same stages here, but then they won't make sense if you have, for example, uh, quotation created, quotation sent. This is not really a stage in Udo because if you click on the lead, you can always uh, create a new quote. You see, I already have an, one order that was confirmed. I have still one quotation pending. I should be maybe on a preposition because I'm preposition stage because I already sent a quote, but I can still create more quotes. I can click here I'm going to create another quote for the same customer, same lead, and I'm going to propose an additional uh, product. It could be like a big project that takes lots of time and you have the opportunity of selling uh, in different stages and different products. So you see now we have two quotes, one order, and I can pick one of them and I can, I already have an invoice on this one. So this was a down payment. I can just reach out to the customer, send a message here and ask him, look, uh, can you pay the prepayment so that we can you pay the advance deposit so that we can proceed with the work. So you can reach out through directly from the invoice or you can reach out from the sales using the same system. You can schedule activities uh, to yourself or to any other member in the team and, and leave some messages. And then you can, uh, click here and see what is your workflow. So for example, leads, I have one future, nine late, zero for today. And, and so you have all these options, uh, but I sometimes see things like even on the manufacturing, like if it is shipped, the product that in Udo is, is done in a different place. So if you want to know if it was shipped, there is an order and that order has a delivery. 
that delivery sits on the warehouse and you will see if somebody has already sent it from the, the warehouse, right? So you don't need a, a stage four shipped. And so uh, that's the main difference. Uh, it's a fully integrated system, makes your life much easier, but it's a bit different to configure. It makes you rethink what your sales process Right, so you need really to create stages that are not related so much as of the sending the quote or doing this or doing that, but more like uh, what defines being closer to the sale, right? And the, it can be adapted to the product, can be adapted to the type of business. So any questions you have, just reach out me to me through my email that you saw on the first slide. And see you next time. Thank you.